three loud voices suggesting that Hamas, given their success in elections, should be represented if there's going to be any chance of moving forward on Middle East peace. Your view? Well, you know, the problem is Hamas does not even adhere to the criteria that were established by the quartet just a few years ago. Hamas does not recognize Israel. Hamas does not accept past agreements. And Hamas will not renounce violence. It sounds very liberal to have everybody get together in the room and talk, but what are you going to talk about? You know, had Hamas been willing to accept these three basic conditions that the quartet, the United States, the United Nations, the European Union, and Russia had laid down before Hamas, that would have opened up tremendous amounts of European assistance to the uh, Gaza Strip, to the Hamas regime, but they adhere to their jihadi ideology. Look, it's hard for some people in the West to fathom this fact, but there are organizations in the Middle East that call for the destruction of Israel, that call for the establishment of a new caliphate to replace the states of the Middle East, to replace uh, President Mubarak in Egypt, to replace King Abdullah of Jordan, to replace all the regimes. This you can't negotiate with. It would be great if you could be inclusive, but you have to read the Hamas charter. You have to see what Hamas leaders are saying. This is about as sensible as bringing Osama bin Laden to the table with President Obama. It Khalid, doesn't you, work, and Khalid, it won't work. Khalid, the best way to drain the swamp, if you will, and weaken Iran's soft power is, in fact, by making forward progress uh, on the peace process with the Palestinians. So, I think that is something that Israel hasn't really uh, made a true effort to do, it seems. Let me pick up on this issue of, um, you know, has Israel made sacrifices for peace? For example, in the Gaza Strip, Israel unilaterally withdrew from Gaza. And our expectation was that if we pull out our army, if we pull out 9,000 settlers, the situation should get quieter. It should stabilize. And, of course, what happened? The number of rocket attacks, if you compare 2005 to 2006, you find a 500 percent increase in rocket attacks. You suddenly find, and this is important for those who don't believe Iran is a problem, that Hamas leaves the Gaza Strip, the members of Hamas, the operatives, through the tunnels under Rafiyah, fly to Tehran, where they're in, trained by the Revolutionary Guards, who also supply the Grad rockets that hit Ashkelon, Ashdod, Beersheba. Therefore, Iran is very much a part of this conflict, but it is a uh, factor which is making the conflict worse. Only by pulling Iran away from this conflict can perhaps we begin to bridge differences in these sensitive areas of security. One thing the Israeli government is asking, and it is repeatedly saying to its friends, we cannot allow the West Bank situation to replicate what happened in Gaza, where we pulled out completely and all we got was a 500 percent increase in rockets. Do you have a view similar to the question we've just heard from Human Rights Watch, that there are questions over the legitimacy of the leadership in Ramallah? Is that a view in Jerusalem? It is not up for Israel to pick Palestinian leaders. And it is not up for Palestinians. It's not up to them to pick Israeli leaders. Our peoples pick our leaders and our leaders negotiate. Now, there has been a view among some of the speakers today that we should speak to Hamas. I mean, do you again know what you are dealing with? I just want to make sure you understand what's in the Hamas covenant. One sentence. Israel will exist and will continue to exist until Islam will obliterate it. Hamas speakers in Gaza, like Yunus al-Astal, talk about Mahraka al-Yehud. It means the Holocaust of the Jews. That's the language coming out of the Hamas, leadership says that can be bridged. But our approach in this television program should not be to dig up the dirt on the other side so we make an impression on the BBC audience. What we should be doing is trying to be forward thinking, understanding the limitations of the other side, but trying to come up to areas where we can bridge our differences. And indeed, that's, that's what I'm what's trying required. to do, Dari Gold. Not simply doing these recitals of what the other side didn't do and how it violated agreements. I've got my list, too.